Greetings everybody and welcome to another edition of John the Math Guy does some really awesome science stuff. Today I'm going to start off with a polarizing light source. Some people of course may refer to this as a Kindle fire, but you know what? That's not what it is. This is a polarizing light source. And to verify that it is indeed polarizing, I put it in the flashlight mode here, and I'm going to bring out a set of these really awesome what are called Altacocker sunglasses. Altacocker, of course, is Yiddish for old fart. You get a pair of these, you wear them in public, you wear them while driving, and you will get respect. I, I, I guarantee it. They're a very good investment. These cost something over $10. Maybe it was $15. I don't remember, but uh, good golly. These are great sunglasses. These are polarized sunglasses. And to verify the two things that I've said, I've said that the Kindle Fire is polarizing. I've said that these are polarizing filters. I'm going to put the filter on the camera. And I, trust me, the camera looks just awesome right now with these sunglasses on. I'm going to rotate the Kindle now. Here we see it rotating. And we'll see that as we go 90 degrees from where we started, it turns dark blue, almost black. That shows that we do indeed have a polarizing filter in here. I'm going to return this back to being flat. That was the first part of it. Nothing exciting there. Uh, except that I really don't know why the Kindle Fire emits polarized light. It's a mystery to me. But anyway, here we have another, this is Exhibit B. Here I have a Roscoe Lux light blue filter. I'm just going to set it down on top of the uh, Kindle Fire. I'm going to bring in another one. This is a lavender filter, very pretty lavender. I like that color. Now put those on top of each other. I'm going to bring in another one. This is what is called Bastard. I'm not kidding. That's what it says in the Roscoe Lux, Roscoe Lux book. There we have that lovely Bastard sitting on top of my Kindle Fire. And finally, I'm going to take one more. This is a light yellow. Hmm, what? You know, I look at it and I see it's light yellow, but for some reason the camera is seeing it as a little different color. That's odd. But, you know, colors are colors. Now, there I have a combination of all of them laying on top of each other, and that's kind of pretty, isn't it? Nice nice colors, but look what happens when I put on the Alta Cocker sunglasses. <gasps> Whoa, <laughs> dude, that is just so awesome. Colors showed up where there were no colors before. I This is unbelievable, but wait, it gets more exciting. I'm not kidding. It's going to be more exciting. You are going to just freak out as I rotate this. Oh, look at the rainbow showing up in that one. That's neat. Oh, wow. And now some other funny colors coming in. Oh, ooh, look at around the holes up in here. Look at that. You know, that's almost a metallic effect. That is so cool. And now I've got rainbow colors coming in in this one over here. And let's see if I can get some. Ooh, ooh, you know, the black background there. For some reason, light is being emitted from the Kindle Fire. It's polarized, we know that, but somehow it gets unpolarized when it goes through that one filter. That is that is kind of weird, isn't it? Ooh. Oh. Give me the fireworks thing now. One, two, three. Oh, wow. This is so cool. I went through the whole book of Roscoe filters, and I couldn't really figure out why, but some of them, here is one that looks like a lime green to me. I put this down on top of here and um, watch it as it goes around. <gasps> Ooh, oh, I like that. That is so cool. Some of them do that and some of them don't. I'll take that one away for a moment. Watch it. Ooh, that's cool. All right, I'm going to put down now one that is called lilac, but to me, I think the color of it is blue. I'm going to set that on top of there like that and watch what happens as it rotates. Oh, nothing cool at all. I don't know why that is. A lot of the filters that I have don't do anything cool. 
But there's something funky going on in the way they polarize the light and the way the polarized light is affecting them. I know what I'm going to do the rest of the day. I'm going to play with these. You can play with them too. All you need to do is buy yourself a Kindle Fire or perhaps use any other uh, laptop or handheld device, uh, computer monitors. Uh, all these have uh, some degree of uh, polarized light that they're emitting. Buy yourself a book of the uh, Roscoe Lux filters. I don't know, maybe that's 20, 30 bucks, but that's well worth it because this is cool. And of course, don't forget, buy yourself a pair of these. Oh man, you will, people will think you are a movie star. Buy yourself some of these Alta Cocker sunglasses. And until next time, have fun. This was another edition of John the Math Guy does some really awesome math stuff. Or, no, physics stuff. Or science. What is the name of this program again, honey?